on the rocky cliffs of Montana's Tobacco Root Mountains. Lion hunter Jake Herrick and his pack are chasing their fifth lion in just three weeks of the season. I think the dogs are on the trail. Looks like they're cooking out of here pretty dang fast. Up here, you put your foot in the wrong spot, and you're one slip away from death. Not too sure what's going on right now. I've got dogs circling around all these trees here. Looks like they've lost the track, and they're not sure where this cat went. You never can be too careful with a predator like this when the dogs don't have him. Oh, there's blood. There's uh, quite a bit, actually, spread out here in the dog tracks. This isn't good. I got to gather up my dogs here and see if one of them's hurt. Come here. Lefty, come here. Ooh. Looks like I found the source of the blood here. Um, Lefty looks like he's pretty cut up on his hind foot. I can't tell if that's from the lion or from a rock pile or what. But right now, I don't care where that cat is. I need to get Lefty to the vet right away. A cut like this can compound into a big infection, and it could be a season ender and possibly be an ender to that leg period. Man, if I lost a dog at this point in the season, it would be a bad, bad thing. Lefty, I call Mr. Consistent. It's time to get the hell out of here and get him to a vet. I got about seven miles to travel out of the mountains, and then I've got about another 10 miles of highway to get down and out to the vet clinic. And this snow conditions right now is just awful. We got about a foot of fresh snow, and uh, it's really icy, and these traveling conditions right now are just bad. The mountain roads are covered in 12 inches of fresh snow, and the surface is slick. Managed to slide us off the road here and not the best timing. Check on my dog first of all. It's okay? Alright, well, the dogs are okay. I've got my truck sunk down to the axle here. I'm gonna winch to that tree over there. So I'm just clearing this tire here. I definitely need this winch. Jake's pickup is equipped with a winch that has a pull capacity of 6,000 pounds. This thing's gotten me out of a lot of bad, bad situations. I'm hoping my cable here is long enough to reach that tree. Looks like a pretty long stretch. Ooh, there we go, I'm out of cable. I'm about three feet short of touching the tree. If I can't fix the problem, it's going to be a long night and a long walk out of here. It's always important to be prepared. That's why I brought my lucky cord. Mountaineering cord isn't designed for heavy hauling, but could be a lifesaver in a pinch. Six millimeters of woven nylon should be able to withstand nearly a ton of force. The breaking strength of this cord isn't enough to handle it with just one thread, so I wrapped it around multiple times. And now it's going to be pulling on three instead of just one. Test it just to make sure it ain't going to bust. Ooh, that's about as close as it gets. I hope this rope holds. This is usually trial and error, but I ain't got time for that right now. I've got to get this dog to the vet. working. All right, I'm back in business here. Need to gather up my winch, get out of here. This was a time consuming deal and I've got a hurt dog. I just need to be real careful the rest of the way. 